Hello. What we have here is a simple unboxing video. I got a uh, new tripod. I want to test it out. So, I'm into retro videography. And I decided to buy myself a retro camera. This is the first one I popped up on eBay. The only preparation I've done is I removed the sipping information. I'm thinking of calling this the Kitchen Table Retro Hardware video. There we go. What do we have in here? Why don't we look together? I do apologize for some odd camera movements. Uh, still getting used to doing this. Thank you uh, for using these instead of packing peanuts. You may notice the label here says Panasonic. It is indeed a Panasonic device. Now, don't worry about the background, I have an air mattress. Now, what is this? This is a 1993-1994, I believe, device. And, well, I think maybe we should open it together. What you're looking at is a Panasonic Super VHS Reporter in working condition. I had to buy a new battery for it. I don't trust one with it. But let's just where to begin. I think smallest first. Don't you? Just take a look. AC adapter. This is anywhere it can run off of AC or charge external battery. If you ever get one of these, make sure you get the battery charger because it uses a unique cable, as you can see here. This was quite literally meant for uh, public access and similar. And as I thought, it did not include the battery. It didn't say if it did or didn't. But I do believe that the battery is a standard UPS battery. Standard tripod mount. Nice little, not padded. But, um. There's a lot of focus. Boom mic, external mic input, different mic mode settings, all your controls you could ever want. S super. And it does have an edit connection, video out, as video out, which is useful because I have a Panasonic Super VHS to DVD recorder. 
sorry, not Super VHS, S video input VCR. Can run this right into there and copy it over to DVD. I don't think this has a Tyler connection, so I'm not going to get one. But yeah. This was designed for uh, college television and other such. Um, not exactly low end, but um, I wouldn't call that low end. I'd call it semi pro. But um, I do apologize for this. Putting something in that you've never taken out before always is a bit fun. But um, yeah. I might do some test footage uh, this weekend with this. I have some brand new tapes, brand new battery. I need to make sure that the battery works. Um, oh, up top, are your controls for tracking display. It is a VCR. It has a speaker right here, and that's padded. So that goes up against your head. Hmm. Uh, hopefully this was somewhat entertaining. If not for the content, but for my ineptness, <laughs> this is a stupid video I decided to make. Uh, I was gonna use my brand new camera. I I have another Panasonic camera, a uh, Micro Four Third system camera, but uh, I forgot to charge it, and I left it on by accident. I took some very nice photos today in Atlantic City. And Wildwood. So, this guy got that thing. So it looks like that's just weird. And here's a part of the video where we stretch it out to make the YouTube gods happy. But yes, it's um, from Fort Wayne, Indiana, um, from the University of Indiana, the Purdue Universities. Meet AV department. So this is probably used for um, public access. Some experimental college videos. Um, Taking all the buttons. None of them feel like that sticky. But um, this would be... This is professional gear. You would find this in use um, for small budget TV stations. Um... Being used to uh, for indie movies, stuff like that. Um, I don't know if this is a color viewfinder, though. But um, I'm going to adapt it to make it to where I can use it for my Commodore monitors. Because it uses LCA, not S video. But yeah, overall, really good shape. Uh, in the coming, few, coming days, I might be doing a restoration video on this. Um, where I clean up the stickers, anyway, you tell a bit of a story. So, peace out.